Greetings, Dr. Tron LeFevre here with Pastor James LeFevre, the Senior Pastor of the Universal Christian Church of Christ. Greetings to my friends out there. And Dr. LeFevre, it's always good to be along with you. Always. Uh, bringing the Word of God. So it's a great blessing. Um, now to our church family today, we want to speak to you about our great parable in the Bible. It comes from the 13th chapter of Matthew the, tre the parable of the hidden treasure, the hidden treasure. Uh, you, you know, um, the universe is made up uh, on principles, so there are a lot of things that, uh, that have to be sought out, uh, whatever it may be. And the same thing with the good spiritual life. But we want you to understand um, this parable and make this connection about the hidden treasure. Because in this treasure, everything is contained for you to have the best life that you can have, the life that you was born to have. You know, exactly. we get tired of that life passing us by, that we want the best life we was born to have. Can we pray? Almighty, everlasting Father, our God, Lord, help the people, Lord, today to understand and seek after their committed life, Heavenly Father, that they will make sure, Lord, that they lay their hands upon this treasure like this man did um, with the hidden treasure, Lord, and go forth and uh, invest in it and do everything that they can do in order to have the committed life in Jesus' name. So again, my friends, we're talking about this hidden treasure, this treasure uh, this is a spiritual treasure uh, that contains everything that we need in order to have a full, committed, good life, a good life. And this treasure is like medicine. You know, you find medicine for our soul, medicine for our physical healing. We'll find med Praise medicine God. for our emotions, everything that we need. And doctor, we'll find so much wisdom Praise and God. knowledge and understanding in how to acquire this good life. In this treasure, you will discover, it will be uh, really the kind of discovery that will put everything you need at your fingertips to have the life that you were born to have. Now let us get right into the Word of God and follow along with his teachings today. Thank you, Pastor, for that warm introduction. We are excited about today's message. Take your Bibles. We are in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 13. We're going to look at verse number 44. The title of today's message is The Hidden Treasure. Mm -hmm. The treasure that we need in order to navigate life is hidden. Yes, it is true. The map that leads to the discovery of this treasure can only be found in the Holy Scriptures. Amen. The Holy Scriptures is our map for this treasure that we're discussing today. So if you don't have the map, you, 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 you'll be unable to find the treasure. This is why we must be diligent. Amen. We must diligently apply ourselves to the accurate interpretation of the Scriptures. If we will find this treasure, yes. we must pay close attention to our vocation. Because if we don't do that, Doctor, you can stumble right over this treasure. I'm pretty sure in this parable that many people had plowed this field before, Amen. but they did not see the treasure. So uh, it, it pays, it behooves us yes. to look. You know, when things not going the way that you want them to go and you know that they should be going, then you got to start looking for the way that leads to the better life. You got to find that treasure. Praise God. If we will find this treasure, mm -hmm. we have to pay close attention. We have to. In our scripture today, we have a man that paid close attention as he went about his vocation. In Matthew chapter number 13, verse number 44 from the ESV, the Bible says, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in the field, mm -hmm. which a man found and covered up. My God. Then in his
his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Mm -hmm. God has prepared this treasure for all people. So the treasure is there, but the thing of it is finding the treasure. Because so many times now we go through so much more than we need to go through. Amen. We just can't seem to find uh, the map that is going to lead to, uh, to a better life. Amen. You know? And so here is the secret. you got to pay attention. And then when you, when you, when you, when you, when you make the discovery then you got to start doing something about it. Praise God. Thank you for that, Pastor. This treasure is prepared for all people, it but is. it often goes unrecognized. Now, what does this text mean in Matthew chapter number 13, verse 44? In this text, Jesus told this story to show what the kingdom of heaven is like. Mm. First, Heaven is described as a hidden treasure in a field. Mm -hmm. Notice when the man discovered this hidden treasure, he did three things. Mm -hmm. The first thing he did was he covered it up. I like that. He covered it up. You know, he didn't leave it exposed. Look, I found something valuable. Let me protect it. Then he goes to the next step. The next thing he did was rejoice. Amen. You know, that's that's the thing. You know, you will should get so excited whenever we see that we have uh, uh, discovered something that is good, something that is priceless, something that is valuable. We should show get so get so excited. Praise God. Get a shout in. Go ahead. And notice this final step. Amen. He sold everything right. that he had oh, in order to buy. You know what it's saying? I found something. I found something that's going to turn everything around Praise God. for me. So I am going to sell everything I got. Amen. To make the investment, whatever it whatever takes. It takes. And that's what it is in our life. You know, whatever it takes. We're getting tired of stumbling around and not having the kind of life that we were born to have. And it just can be based on the fact it's finding a treasure. Praise God. That contains all the keys to finding a good life. Please mm. take away from this message yeah, today take that away. Take something away. this man had an overflowing joy he when he discovered this hidden treasure. You know, that's the thing I like to see, you know, and I like to see some real spiritual excitement when people begin to find how sweet and Praise good God. and wonderful the scriptures are. I like to see spiritual excitement. Amen. Come on. We can visualize this man. Can't you see him? I can see it. Rejoicing. I can see it. He probably was jumping for joy. Why? Because he had made this supreme, supreme discovery. Supreme discovery. This was the best day of his life. Oh, God. As it was the best day of my life when I came into the knowledge of the possibilities of, of what it could mean if I would follow the scripture. Praise God. This was the day mm -hmm. that he became oh, God. a brand new man. A brand new man. On the, yeah, inside. on the inside. Yeah, things had taken a different turn right then. He Come had on. found more than just religion. Now, yeah, this, yeah. this was more than going to church. Right. This man not only went to church, but he had found Christ, an My intimate, God. personal relationship with Christ. No wonder he was so happy and joyful. So what is the meaning of this treasure? Mm -hmm. A treasure is something that is very valuable. Yeah. There are primarily two types of treasures. Mm -hmm. Earthly treasures and heavenly treasures. Now notice what Jesus said in Matthew's gospel, chapter number 6, verses 19 through 21 from the Amplified Bible. The scripture says, Do not store up for yourself material treasures on earth. Notice what Jesus says here. Right where moth and rough rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. Well, we cannot and we must not invest all our energy into things that we can touch, taste, and feel. We should look for that spiritual path God. that brings us joy and satisfaction now and ultimately leads to the eternal life of joy with the Lord forever. Amen. He goes on to say, but store up for yourselves treasures in Work heaven. Look at it, yeah. 
where neither moth nor rust destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Mm -hmm. For where your treasure is, there your heart, your wishes, your desires, that on which your life centers will be also. Well, you, you can kind of tell where a person is going to wind up in life just by the things that they really focus on, you know, whatever whatever they are willing to put more energy and time in. It will tell you a lot about what how things will turn out. Jesus, Pastor, is showing us mm -hmm. that earthly possessions have no eternal value. That's, that's true. Now consider what Dr. King said concerning earthly possessions. Yes, great man. And all of the other shallow things will not matter. That's what he said. I won't have any money to leave behind. He did say that. I won't have the fine and luxurious things of life to leave behind. He did say that. But I just want to leave a committed life behind. You know what excites me? The committed life. The committed life, you know. And I think when you get right down to it, Amen. every human being on the face of this earth should want to leave behind a committed, a committed life. life. But it's in the reach of, of us all, but we must find that treasure, that hidden treasure that is going to point this out Praise and give God. us instructions on how to acquire this committed life. Let us ask you a question. Where is your treasure? Yeah, where, where, what is most important to you? What is your greatest focus? What do you put more energy into? Have you found the treasure of life? Okay, even though you've been looking and searching and you've acquired things, you've acquired things. You may have even acquired religion, but have you acquired life? Praise the God. The life of the Lord Jesus Christ, the life that he offers. That is what we want to discover. Let us look at a young man who turned down yes. heavenly treasures. Sometimes people turn them down. Too often they do. In Mark's gospel, chapter number 10, verse number 21 through 22, the scripture says, mm -hmm. looking at him, yeah. Jesus felt a love. He did. High regard, compassion Because he already him. knew that this man going to be faced with a challenge. He's going to be faced with a choice. Like we're faced with choices and challenges every day. Amen. Uh, will, will we surrender to uh, the voice of uh, the higher authority? Praise we God. all are faced with that. Just like this young man. The text goes on to say, For him, and he said to him, mm. You lack one thing. Yeah, one thing. Jesus told him because he knew. Go and sell all your property. You all remember that. And give the mm -hmm. money to the poor, and you will have abundant treasures in heaven. My God. And come and follow come me. And follow me. Becoming my disciple, yeah. believing and trusting in me, mm -hmm. and walking the same path of life that I walk. What an opportunity. But the man was saddened mm -hmm. at Jesus' words. And he left grieving because he owned much property and had many possessions which he treasured more than his relationship with God. That's what his treasures were. That's, that's, that's what they were. And the, and the thing of it is that he, he had such a great attachment. So really, uh, those material possessions, Amen. they owned him. Yes. Like so many times in our life that the pleasures of life uh, can take uh, control over our life and, and does not leave us the opportunity to go out and seek this treasure uh, that uh, leads to the committed life. Praise God. He was unable, he was unable to sell all that's unfortunate. and embrace the treasure of life. Mm -hmm. Embrace the treasure of life. Mm -hmm. What kept this man from embracing the priceless treasure? That's a big question. He loved his earthly treasures more than he loved God. That's the same thing happened with a multitude of people out there today. Um, that is why that you know a lot of times people come up short in finding the kind of life that they were born Amen. to have, uh, because they do not know how to go to the source Praise and God. look for the instructions that lead 
us to find that treasure, that hidden treasure. Amen. We don't have to do uh, what this rich young ruler did. We don't have to do that. We want to do what the man did in our text in Matthew chapter 13, verse 44, mm -hmm. when he was plowing the field. Right, right. In Psalm chapter number 119, verse 162, is a man who treasured the word of God. I like he, that. I love he treasured it. the word of I God love it. Yeah. more than his earthly Amen. possessions. See, and that's what we want to learn to do. It's in the Bible, it's the scriptures that lead us to understand the priceless value. Praise of God. the scriptures. Amen. That's what we want to get you to see today. I want you to embrace this because of the work for you. Go ahead. In Psalm 119, verse 162, look what David said. I love this. I rejoice in your laws, meaning in your word, like one who finds mm. a great mm. treasure. Yeah, hallelujah. Like, like ones who find a great treasure. Can you see that? Can Amen. You, can you picture that? Yeah, it is so much excitement and deliverance and transformation and healing and restoration uh, when we find this hidden treasure. How do we come into possession of this priceless treasure? That's, that, that is the key. Answer, we must place faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. When we do this, we will have heavenly treasures. My God. Now remember, according to the Bible, God has prepared this treasure for us. Mm -hmm. It's in the Bible in John chapter 10, verse 10, mm -hmm. from the KJV, the scripture says, I am come mm -hmm. that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Talking about you and I. The abundant life is found mm -hmm. and is a hidden treasure. Yes. Therefore, we must recognize this hidden treasure of wisdom, which will lead us to a full life. That's what we're all looking for. You know, we're here for that on this planet, but if we don't get the keys and the clues and get some guidance, we'll never find it. You know, Praise nobody God. will never find, nobody has never find, found that treasure of life without some guidance without some leading and, what, and, and without being attentive, without uh, paying attention and making an effort. Yeah. Notice what Proverbs chapter number two, verse six says from the Living Bible, for the Lord grants wisdom. He grants it. His every word, notice, his every word is a treasure. Yeah. Underscore oh, treasure. God. Let us pause right there, my friends, because the whole thing about this message is that hidden treasure. And and how many people really know the power that's contained in the scripture? How Praise many God. people really know that the life of transformation, the life of finding peace, the life of being an overcomer, hey, the life of getting rid of oppression, the life of getting rid of anxiety and depression and confusion God. and learning how to live a more spirit-led life. Uh, uh, how many people miss out, miss out on that because they do not know that the Word of God there is power, Dr. Lefebvre. There is there power. Is power. Praise God. There is life in the Word of God. And it is more necessary, Doctor, than our daily food. It is, Pastor. Yes. Praise God. Notice what Proverbs chapter number 2, verse mm -hmm. 6 says now. The Bible says his every word is a treasure yeah. of knowledge. He saw it. And understanding. No wonder he was a prophet. He saw it. This scripture is clear. Mm -hmm. It's very clear. Mm -hmm. Every word of God is a treasure. Every word. Now, since the word of God is a treasure, mm -hmm. let us rely on the word of yes. God daily. Yes, that's right. Let's rely on the word of God and not our human effort. But you know something? It, it takes uh, some kind of awakening for us to begin to do that. Praise God. Because everyone who has begun to take God's word uh, uh, for its true meaning and practice his word, then they have been able to experience uh, the beauty and wonderful wonder of this new, uh, full, transformed life. Praise and they God. can go around leaping for joy and dancing for joy. That so, could be you. Praise God. 
in John chapter number 6, verse 63, the Good News Translation it says is. it this Here way. It what gives life is God's spirit. What? Okay. What gives life, man? Mm -hmm. What gives eternal life? What gives life, this spiritual life, is God's spirit. God's but God, spirit. that is in the treasure. You're not going to read this in some place, uh, some magazine, anything. Nothing going to tell you this. Um, give you that statement except the scripture. Praise God. Except the scripture. And that's what we want people to see. I want you to get excited. It's about clear. The word of God, the true word of God. John 6 and 63, Jesus said, What gives life mm -hmm. is God's spirit, God's Holy yeah. Spirit. Yes. Human power. Again, that is in the treasure. Human power, meaning human effort, is of no use at all. Mm -hmm. The words I have spoken to you bring God's life. You're not going to know that spirit. unless you find the treasure and unlock it like the man did in the, in the field. He found the meaning of life. I love what Apostle Paul said in Colossians chapter 2, verse 2 through 3. He said, my goal mm -hmm. is that they may be encouraged yes. in heart yes. and united in love so that they may have the full riches. Notice, right. the, the full, full riches, riches. The abundance, the full riches. Of complete understanding in order that they may know the mm -hmm. mystery is hitting. The mystery of God. Namely, this is what it is, Christ in whom mm -hmm. are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Well, doctor, I guess we're just not going to know about this. Uh, his instructions, except we uh, find it through the scriptures. Praise God. We're just not going to know it. Now, this is the mystery of the kingdom of God. Let us apply mm -hmm. the word of God by continuously, continuously looking for the hidden treasures. My God. And by doing good works. Mm -hmm. In First Timothy chapter number six. Verse 18 through 19 from the New Living Bible, the scripture says, by doing this, mm -hmm. in 1 Timothy chapter I'm 6, verse this. 19, by doing this, they will be storing up treasures mm -hmm. okay. as a good foundation mm -hmm. for the future. You'll be able to go find your treasure like this man did. You'll be able to go find it and you'll be able to go... Do what you have to do in order to retrieve that treasure. Amen. You'll be able to retrieve it. He had to go sell a lot of things, sell all his, his, his material worth and come back and retrieve this treasure. Praise God. Which was stored up in the heaven for him. Yeah. Amen. As a good foundation for the future as that they may experience true life. Okay. That's what he said. The hidden treasures of God is the ultimate way mm -hmm. of navigating life. Right. And if you do this, the good life, the good life will not pass you by. Yeah. Thank you for tuning yeah. in to this message on the hidden treasure. Praise God. Thank you so much, Dr. LaFavor. And we want to make this discovery because we all know that if we do not find the right instructions to what life is all about, that the good life will pass us by. And, and as life begins to pass people by, they become more frustrated and more perplexed than uh, when that happens, but it does not have to Amen. happen. Uh, let us reach out and uh, let us pay attention because the treasure, it is there, it is before us, but let's make sure we don't stumble over it we, and we don't ply over it, that we, that we find it and discover it and we protect it and we invest everything. And they say, this is my treasure now. And then, then you wind up coming to the conclusion, everything that I need for the good life is right here contained in this hidden treasure. Praise God. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you so much for tuning in to our message today. And if you were blessed by this message, give us a thumbs up. But we, we also ask that you would share it with a friend, share it with a loved one, that they too may discover this hidden mm -hmm. mystery, this yeah. treasure 
And when they discover it, they will have an abundant life. They will. So may God bless you and may God keep you and make his face to shine Amen. upon you and grant you his peace. Amen. Amen. And they will have a chance to leap for joy and be so uh, encouraged as this man did in the parable of the hidden treasure. God bless you. God bless you.